Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to chat with you guys about necessities many frugal people don't buy. Let's get right into it. And some of these things I definitely purchase and many times I've heard folks say, including myself, I'm pointing the finger back at me, hey this is a need. For example, I need a dishwasher. I do a lot of cooking. Is a dishwasher a need? Eh, yes and no, but probably not. I could always hand wash. That would be an example right there. There's many items that folks think, hey, they just can't live without it, but it's not really a need when you come down to it. First one is a vehicle. Now, it depends where you live, I understand. I'm meeting more and more people that are, they don't have a car or they don't have a second car and the family shares the car. They may have to wait at work for 45 minutes for someone to pick them up. They either share it, they have a, an older vehicle that they maintain, or they don't have a vehicle at all, they order a lot of things online, they work from home, and they take public transportation. So a vehicle would be one. Number two, a home. Some people I know rent a room. Okay, I actually know someone that does. I actually know somebody that lives in a camper and pays a small fee to do that. Or a bigger home. They may have, say, four children, and they live in a really small, like 1,200 square foot home. They just don't have a lot of stuff. Um, I even know one family that has four children and they have one bathroom and a 1150 feet square home, no basement. They make it work because they like to keep their bills low so that they're able to save and invest. Also, home updates. I don't mean maintaining your home such as you need something repaired, but say that you move into a home and some of the things are, quote, dated. You've got old wallpaper, but there's nothing wrong with it. They don't generally just update all of that stuff because it's not in style anymore. They may save it. Okay, another thing, the newest electronics. They don't get a new phone all the time. They make do with what they have. They buy refurbished. Also, television. I actually know quite a few frugal people that don't have televisions. And they obviously don't have any of the streaming services. Number four, I'm guilty of this. You know, a lot of folks just have some basic kitchen appliances. They don't have all of them. And I'll be honest with you, if I had a bigger kitchen, there's a lot of kitchen appliances that I would absolutely love to have. Luckily for me, I don't have space for them, so I can't get them. And I'm always tempted. My do I recently wanted to get an air fryer. My daughter's like, Mom, you don't need one. You know what? We're fine without it. And she's right. I don't absolutely need it. It might be nice, but it's not a need. Okay, I did make space for it, however. Next is things like garbage disposal, dishwasher, things like that. Now, I have a garbage disposal and a dishwasher, and they are very useful to me. I don't you actually use my garbage disposal to stick things down, but it's nice to have it to be able to, in case something does go in there, you know, that you can grind it up, and so it is good. Also, washer and dryer. I know some folks that don't have a dryer, they hang their clothes up, or they have a clothesline inside. Also, some people I know wash their clothes in the bathtub. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, that we, that we absolutely shouldn't buy any of these things. I'm saying some folks are making do without it in order to save and invest for their future. Central air conditioning, you know what? There's many people, even in hot climates, that have a room air conditioner and they close off the other rooms in the house. They just deal with it. They, you know, vent something outside and they just cool off that room or they have a bunch of different, you know, what I call high power fans and they deal with it that way. So central air is something that yeah, I can't imagine living without, but there's a lot of folks in hot climates that live without it. Next, haircuts. I see so many YouTube videos where people are cutting their own hair. And last but not least, I know there's so many more I could come up with. Basically new items, finding a way to barter and get an item, making do with what you have, repairing what you have, you know, many folks just don't go out and just use shopping as a hobby, as you would say. Now, I'm not saying we should be like the person that does all those things on the list that I just shared, but there's many frugal people that say a lot of this stuff is not necessary, and they're making do without, and they say they're living a wonderful life, frugal life just the way it is. So let me know what you guys think. In the comments below, tell me some things that many people find a necessity in life, but you don't think it is, and you live a frugal life and you're living without that item. I want to hear from you in the comments below. That's all I have to say for now. 
I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope you come back for tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye now.